Welcome cloud gamers to another Stadia News Roundup as I bring you guys your weekly dose of things happening in the world of Google Stadia. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Uplay Plus looking for beta testers for their upcoming launch on Stadia, a cool touchscreen feature for those looking to play Stadia Mobile without a controller, and the infamous Destiny 2 fiasco currently happening as I do have quite a few things to say about that, so stick around for the whole video and hit that like button if you can. Sub to the channel for more Stadia coverage, but let's dive into this news video. So let's start this video on some positives, starting with Uplay Plus. There has been some news that the global beta test network added Stadia to the list of platforms that will be able to test out Uplay Plus, and the dates that are coming for that are February 28th and 29th under the interesting name of Project WA. If you're unfamiliar with what Uplay Plus is, it's a service like the Xbox Game Pass that will let you access a long list of Ubisoft titles like the Assassin's Creed and Far Cry franchise. But that's not all. There will be new games on this service, including Watch Dogs Legion, one of the top games that I'm looking forward to covering on Stadia this year. Now, in order to possibly participate in this beta, you will need to apply to the Global Beta Test Network. And fair warning, it is almost like a job application as I started the process like a month ago and backed out once I saw how much work it was going to be to fill that out. It's truly not that bad though, so I encourage you to apply and you can get paid in certain circumstances, but you will be under a non-disclosure agreement, meaning you can't discuss anything you test out. But ultimately, this news in general is excellent and I'm looking forward to Uplay Plus being on Stadia, though I am hoping that the 120 games slated to come to this platform are not half of this Uplay Plus library, which I am slightly in fear of. I will have a link down below for you guys to apply. But moving on to the next bit of news is I saw enough to recommend this to you guys. If you haven't heard by now, the rollout to more Android phones is in place. And one user read it by the name of Smash Shot created a awesome touchscreen controller that is fully functional with Stadia on your phone. I will have a link below so you guys can check this out and keep in mind to download things with caution and do your research, but I've seen a ton of users reportedly having this work for them perfectly, and it's a great way to sneak and play some Stadia without having to bust out a controller. And like usual, the users of this awesome community are unfortunately having to do a little bit of Google's work, but in the meantime, use this until an official touch controller comes in place as even GeForce Now has a fully functional controller. So let's hope Stadia makes their own soon and I will have a link to this Reddit post for more explanation of how all of this works. And to the last part of news on the docket today is without a doubt something I've wanted to talk about and will have its own separate video at some point, but this is easily going to be one of the more controversial topics we'll see within the Stadia community going forward. If you haven't figured out by now, Destiny 2 is not playable on Google Stadia without a pro membership. Three months have gone and passed now since the service is launched, and it saw a lot of us founders who didn't renew lose access to a game that was heavily advertised with this platform. Essentially, if you let your subscription run out, you will get a prompt on your screen that tells you to subscribe to play. Now, if you're wondering, who cares? Well... The issue is that Destiny 2, the base game, is free to play on Xbox, PS4, and PC, as well as other streaming platforms like GeForce Now. Now, if at this point you still don't see the problem, well, I'm here to tell you this is a problem, and the bigger picture is how is Stadia going to handle free-to-play titles? Now, to further elaborate, if you're someone who wanted to still play Destiny, you have a few options like renewing your pro subscription, or you can buy one of the expansions which I did for testing purposes to make sure I could even launch the game. So not all is lost, and if you're someone who doesn't want the headache of another monthly bill to worry about, but you still want to play Destiny, the option is there. But keep in mind, depending on what you buy, you might still be pretty restricted, which I noticed when I booted up the game. While I'm going to make a separate video on the topic of free-to-play and the future of Stadia, I do want to briefly say this was a bit disappointing, but not necessarily unforeseen. 
as I think Google has stated somewhere that you can access this platform completely free or something rather to that effect. Now I know there will be demos in the future, so we'll wait and see how that works out in the form of testing Stadia as someone who hasn't invested in the platform, but I don't think that Google has had an official stance in general, so I hope that we will see some clarification here soon. But with all that said, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on Uplay Plus. Will you guys be using this service when it comes to Stadia? And what are your thoughts on Destiny 2 no longer being accessible as a non-pro member? As I'm curious to see what you might feel about this, and I might be featuring your comments in a future video, so let me know. Please hit that like button for today's news video, as well as hit that notification bell, and sub for more Stadia content and news. And like always, I hope you guys all have a sunny day.